Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untitled Warrior here coming at you with another Sneaker Mystery Box on Sneaker Mystery Box Fridays. This box is $1,500 and it's from a new company that I've actually never ordered a box from before. This box is actually from a company called The Fix Kicks and I believe they're located out in California. I really don't know what to expect in this one, man. A lot of people were tagging me on Instagram to try out these boxes for a long, long time. And for the most part, I'm pretty hesitant about trying out like new shops and stuff because you really don't know if you're gonna get like scammed on a box or if they just don't know how to make a good mystery box. As we know with Soul Supremacy, they've been doing it for many, many years, so that's why their boxes are so balanced and so good all the time. But we've also seen companies that have screwed us over in the past, which you guys probably know who they are. It's Cool Kicks. That box was terrible, you can watch it up here. It was a bad box. Anyway, hopefully this box is a good one. $1,500, we're gonna be checking it out real quick, but before we get into the box, I do wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's episode, Rose Gold and Black. And this is a super special shout out for me because I gotta just give it up to Rose Gold and Black, man. Like, they have seriously been supporting this channel for so long and they have not stopped supporting this channel, guys. Like, it is very important during this time with like all of these lockdowns and stuff to show love to like the people that support you. And Rose Gold and Black has been supporting me nonstop, guys. Like, I really appreciate everything that they do and I really, really love their products, man. And what I also really appreciate from rose gold and black is they continue to keep the jewelry dope minimalistic looks but they also keep the prices very very low so if you want to look stylish and you also want to save a bunch of money then rose gold and black is where it's at guys and if you guys use the link in the description below it will take you to rose gold and black where they have a huge selection of necklaces bracelets rings any kind of jewelry that you guys need they got it over there man and what's even better is that RGMB is hooking up the Untied Ohana with 20% off and also an additional 10% off when you guys use the code Untied. So be sure to copy your guys' jewelry today and let's get into this video. $1,500, let's see what we got, guys. Ugh, first impressions are not looking good. I'm gonna be honest, the first impressions don't look good. The top of the box, uh, yeah, it might be a long, long video. And before I start showing you guys the shoes, I gotta let you guys know that this is not sponsored by The Fix Cakes. I do not know anybody that works at The Fix Cakes, and I'm not saying that you guys should buy boxes from this shop. If this box ends up being good, that's a one-time box that we've seen, that's it. It's too small of a sample size to say if it's a good place to buy boxes or not. Also, if it ends up being a bad box, we can't say that the whole thing is bad because we don't know. So temper your guys' expectations because I really have no idea what to expect from this box or this company. Okay, so the first shoe that we got in here is actually a good one though. Uh, this is a pair of Jordan 6s and this is a size for why not really in the best condition though you guys can see there's pretty heavy creasing all over the shoe there's crease marks over here heavy creasing over here and the bottoms obviously are dirtied up also doesn't have a box so that's going to mess with the resale value as well if you guys want to follow along this is the resale counter up over here these are actually also the prices that i'm selling these shoes for on my web store on tidehawaii.com interesting first shoe the second shoe isn't getting much better man this is a pair of air max and it is in a size 9.5 this is the kind of shoe that I feel like people would take like hiking and stuff because it doesn't really have that like stylish appearance, you know? Size 9.5, no box. I mean, the upper doesn't look like it's beat up too bad, but yeah, no scratches, nothing terrible up top. Bottoms actually don't look too worn, so that's pretty good as well. Interesting shoe, and again, it probably will not help the counter too much over here. I'll grab this orange Nike box over here. Uh, this one is a KD Tray 5.2 in a size 8. Oh man, this is not a good shoe either. <laughs> oh, so far, so bad. I don't like this. Doesn't look like a very good basketball shoe, to be honest. Not a lot of ankle support up there, and the shoe feels flimsy. So yeah, I'm not sure if a lot of people cop this one, but for myself, I don't think it's a good performance shoe. Bottoms also look like it's been tried on or worn. You guys can see there's like some dirt over here. Kind of disappointing. Uh, most of the time when you guys see shoes like this, like not hype shoes if it's not a Yeezy or a Jordan that usually means it's really hard to move unless it's like in dead stock condition so yeah we'll see where this goes if anything I'll just have to lower the price in order to like make it sell faster this will be an interesting one over here it is a Vans Rood collection though and this one is in a size 9.5 Ooh, okay we do have a dead stock shoe so this is good you guys can check this one out it does appear to be dead stock it still has a tag attached I love black and yellow over here on the sole that's kind of cool just not a big fan of this California rude like stamp basically throughout the entire like midsole of the shoe. I think that's kind of weird. Yeah, still an interesting sneaker and because it's in dead stock condition, hopefully it can move pretty quick. Next shoe up over here, this is a LeBron 12 PRM. 
LeBron's, these don't move very well either. Oh man, and I have no idea what these ones are called. This is actually a kind of cool sneaker though. A lot of vibrant colors on here, and that's what I've noticed with like a lot of the LeBron models. They like to use a lot of greens and oranges and just very bright colors. This one is definitely used as well. You guys see there's a little bit of scratching back up over here. Also, bottoms and those soles are worn. So this one's probably not fetching much money on the price counter either. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, like I've kind of like pre-scanned the rest of this box and I don't see anything hype in here. There's like no off-white boxes in here and I don't see any like Jordan 1 boxes in here. So yeah. Yeah, uh, this is a Jordan box though and it is a size 12 Jordan 9. Let's pray that it's something crazy. Ooh, not crazy, but this is not a bad shoe. This is a pair of the Jordan 9 Barons. Uh, this one is in worn condition, but it's in pretty solid condition still. Yes, you can see there's a lot of toe box creasing over here. Uppers on the rest of the shoe though looks perfectly fine. I don't see any issues over there. Um, bottoms though are pretty heavily worn. You guys can check that out. Pretty dirty and there's a good amount of heel drag on the back over here. We got like six shoes left in here. Uh, this one is a Jordan 12 in a size 13. Oof, another not really hype shoe. Interesting. Uh, this one, <laughs> I am, I gotta apologize to you guys. If I'm not seeming super hyped, it's because I feel like I got scammed on this box. This is why I'm not a fan of like testing out new shops because this is what I see like a whole bunch of bricks and just not easy to move shoes. So pretty disappointed so far. Uh, you guys can check it out over here. Maybe help me out with it. I don't see too much signs of wear. Like there's not too much creasing over the shoe. I'm trying to look like closer up and stuff too to see if there's like more markings, but I can't really tell. And those bottoms aren't too bad. So it's really hard to say if this one is brand new or not. This over here is one that I recognize. It is a size 9.5 Jordan 3. And this should be a pair of their red cements. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. So we do have a pair of dead stock Jordan 3 red cements. These things don't go for a bunch of money. They're actually going for less than retail now, but at least this one is dead stock so we can move it pretty easy. I really personally like this colorway on this shoe. I think it's very unique and very cool. It reminds me of that Supreme Dunk low in that red colorway. Yeah, overall, just a really nice shoe. And I honestly feel like this is like a good starter shoe for a lot of people because the price is affordable and the colorway itself is nice, man. So good starter shoe for people if they're trying to build a sneaker collection. Uh, This sneaker over here is a Nike Air Max 95 and D in a men's size 10. Oh, okay. This is an interesting one. I don't think I've seen this one before. Warren pair over here. I believe these are from the Have a Nike Day collection. Kind of got like the Easter vibe and stuff going on over here as well. This is what I mean by that Easter vibe. It has a lot of pastel colors over the entire shoe. This one does look like it has been worn though. You can see the bottoms are definitely like dirty. So that's not good. You guys can see that logo over here. I always thought this was pretty clever. Again, not a hype shoe, so it won't fetch a lot of money. And it really truly appears that this shop is just selling out bricks. Like that's it. They're just giving out bricks we do have three shoes left but for the most part they all look like bricks so far we haven't even got like a decent like middle of the pack shoe everything has been bad so far and i wish i could stay positive on this video guys because we need positivity in the world right now but I also want to be real with you guys. Like when I'm opening these boxes, if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you guys I don't like it. I'm not going to forcibly hype up a company if I don't believe in that company. And so far, I don't believe in the fixed kicks. I, I don't know. This does not seem good. And I don't know what the counter looks like. Maybe we're making like a thousand dollars, but I feel like we are losing so far. Next up is this box over here. Uh, human race size 11. Come on, good pair. No, not a good pair. Dang, and this thing is pretty beat up. Not going to lie. Uh... <laughs> Okay, back over here, you guys can see this is like really scuffed up on the back, very dirty. Uppers look fine though. I always like the uppers for these human races because they have like these stitched in words. So this one says clouds, the other shoe over there says moon. Two shoes left over here, man. I'm gonna keep hope kind of alive here. They are both Yeezys and Yeezys will potentially fetch us at least $400 if it's a good pair. We're gonna have our fingers crossed, man. $1,500 box. I would assume that there's at least one or two money shoes in here. We haven't seen them yet, so this might be it. It is not it at all. This is definitely not it. Ugh, Yeezy Boost 350, size 12. <laughs> and it's a worn clay. Uh, Yeezy. I'm pretty sad. Bottoms dirtied. Uh, uppers look fine. Most of the time, these uppers on these Yeezys, they never really get damaged too much unless like somebody really messes up the shoe. So it's more of the bottoms that you guys do want to pay attention to when you guys are copying Yeezys. So yeah, there's not too much time to wear them. And finally, the last shoe of the box. Thank goodness, man. It's over. This one is a size 8. <laughs> and it's not a hype shoe either. Uh, size 8 Yeezy 350. Please be dead stock or we have a bunch of bricks. 
chance. Okay, this one has a chance, man. This one is dead stock. Oh, thankfully. Kind of saved the day a little bit over here. I mean, these are a pair of the Yeezy blue tints. They're not the most expensive Yeezys, but the fact that it is dead stock, you guys can see it still has those tags attached, means that we can at least sell these relatively quickly and make some of our money back. So that's important. Bottoms over here, not worn at all. Also can see the tags still attach over here as well. Um, pretty clean sneaker, man. I don't see any issues with this one. So I really don't know what to say, guys. Like for $1,500, uh, I don't want to say that all boxes need to be made the exact same way. Soul Supremacy usually does like a lot of like beater kind of sneakers, but there's at least one or two in there that are very height and that can move pretty easy. The Yeezy 350 blue tint in here will move pretty easy because it is dead stock and that should be a decent amount of money. But the rest of the shoes in here, many of them are bricks, many of them are worn and they will be tough to move. So my verdict for the fixed kicks, again, I don't want to like jump to conclusions and just say that write them off, you know, like immediately. Um, but for the most part, it looks like they just put bricks in a box and they send it out to people. I don't think these are meant to be reseller boxes. And if they are, it is a very, very hard to move box, especially if you don't have a platform like myself where you can sell it on a web store and stuff. Dude, these will take forever to sell. They will take forever to sell if you're using like Goat or eBay and stuff. And it doesn't look like the margin that you'd make for money is even worth that amount of time that you're gonna put into it. So my verdict for the fixed cakes based off of one box is that you should not be buying from this store. I don't think it's a good investment. I don't think that you guys will make money. I'd rather see you guys spend like $1,500 on individual sneakers and that way you guys can make money faster. Not a scam, so don't go and like calling this company a scam and stuff. I hate it when people do that. It's not a scam. They definitely put together a box, but it's just not a good box in terms of like what we usually see from other companies like the Sneak City or Direct Kicks or Soul Supremacy. So yeah, that's my verdict for that. I don't know if I'll try another one. I'm pretty turned off from this box as you guys can tell, but yeah, we're gonna try to keep it positive, guys. <laughs> Again, if you guys wanna buy any of these shoes, head over to untiedhoy.com. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys, stay humble, stay blessed, take care, and I will see you on the next episode. Aloha. Shoot.